Hey guys, welcome back to our FCS Dynasty in NCAA Football 2006. Today, I'm not sure how many games we're going to be playing, but right now we got the number 14 ranked North Dakota State Bison travel, or hosting the Wofford Terriers. Terriers 1-2 and two on the season, Bison are 2-1, and one. and looking pretty good so far. Number one ranked rush offense in the country, 329 yards on the ground per game. They also have the number four pass defense in the nation. They do have to improve... Their turnover differential, though, because it is 66th in the country. A little rough, but they're working on it. It would help if Calvin Jasper Jr. would stop fumbling the football. We are all shared in the Discord. We're ready to go. Let's get it. I'm ready. And I hope you guys are, too. Let's see who we got in the chat so far. All right. Make sure I got the right playbook going here. Let's do it. As always, don't forget to slap the like button, subscribe if you're new, and join our lovely Discord community today to get your college football career started here in the FCS Dynasty. Sean Mahan in the chat. What's going on, Sean? Regear Productions in the chat. Hope you guys are well. I've been looking forward to this game. Zoomer Speed, one of my favorite running backs in this series. He's just so quick. Arkansas Pine Bluff beat number five, Tennessee State. Oh my goodness, I did not see that. <laughs> Gonna have to go back and check that out. Bison gonna be on defense first here today. Tackled by Henry. Give me one second. Looks like my the color is off. On my screen at least. Might just be me, but this is really bright on my TV for some reason. Tyler Rocky in the chat. What's going on, man? Why is this so bright? Yeah, whatever. We're going to rock with it. They're down three. Terriers get the first down and more. That's Foster running a couple guys over up past the 40-yard line. Let's take a look at the North Dakota State defense led by D.O. Langston at defensive end. Linebacking core of Jeffrey Clark, Austin Bracey, and Zeke Warunde. Clark will be on the defensive line as well throughout the ball game. And there is Foster getting another carry. Terriers just keep it on the ground so far. The rest of the defense is... Senior cornerback Oliver Vinson, number 20. And true freshman corner Sean Mahan, number 11. And sophomore cornerback Rich Rodriguez will be in the nickel. Yeah, I'm going to have to let the computer... Just play defense for a moment while I take a gander at my, my chords and my settings.
All right, problem solved. Awesome. Still mad about the Bears because you didn't get a touchdown? Well, uh, nobody got a touchdown. <laughs> Okay, nice tackle by Vincent. You know what happened? Um, I'm pretty sure one of my cats jumped up behind my PS2 and just nudged the cord in the back of the PS2. And that affected everything, apparently. Get him! First down. Wofford with a nice drive so far. My goodness. on the ground again it's a fumble and recovered by Foster never lucky never lucky after this we're gonna be having the Jacksonville Dolphins number nine ranked team in the nation taking on the Southern Jaguars in SEC action should be a good one I need to get the cats out of the office <laughs> well unfortunately William the the male cat he lives in the office so yeah. Oh, there we go. There's a sack. Who was that? Who got him? Taoka Nantico with his 13th sack. Wow. <laughs> Not bad for a halfback. All right, third down and goal. This is a big play from the 15-yard line. Great drive so far. 11 plays, 62 yards, and over three and a half minutes off the clock for the Terriers. What are they going to do? Double coverage. Nice deflection by Sean Mahan. True freshman cornerback making a nice play for his defense. That pass did not stand a chance. And the Bison holds strong here in the red zone. Holding the Wofford Terriers to a field goal attempt of 32 yards. And that was... Money, 13 plays, 62 yards, 3 minutes, 49 seconds off the clock. And we'll finally, <laughs> we'll finally get to see the Bison offense. This is going to be a very quick game, guys, and both teams are just going to be running the football. And, you know what, I'm going to return it. Let's get it. Let's go, Oliver. Why did I pass the 20? I'll take it. All right, let's take a look. At the North Dakota State Bison offense, led by junior quarterback Kelvin Jasper, Jr., number 12. He is backed up by Carter Honeycutt. The stable of back, uh, halfbacks is Zuber Speed, Tahoka Nantico, and Michael Gregory. Cameron May at fullback. Ryan Irwindowski is the wide receiver. Oh, my goodness. Max Hawthorne at the tight end. Anders Harliday at right tackle, number 74. Or actually, wait a minute. Is he number 74? Nope. Oh, he's not even in this game right now. What is going on? Anyways, Jay Carlo. <laughs> it's the left tackle. Cameron May up the middle. Jukes a man out of his shoes and tries to spin, but he's a little too big for that. Up past the 45-yard line. Gotta love the flex bone, man. You gotta love it. Jet Balmer in there at halfback as well, number 25. Haven't got him on the graphic yet. Keep forgetting. It happens. And there he goes. Gets it up past the 50. Picks up four yards. Alex Dar in the chat. What's going on, Alex? Let me check the point spread real quick on this one. North Dakota State, 22-point favorites in this game. Oh, boy. I didn't see that corner over there. That could have been terrible. Ron Camp, what's going on, brother? Hope you are well. All right, let's go off tackle. Zuber speed on third and six. From the 49-yard line of Wofford. This could be terrible. All right, they're going zone coverage. And Zuber speed. Oh, oh, my goodness. Oh, nice tackle. <laughs> what, a, what a couple moves right there from Zoomer. My goodness gracious. 
I thought he was dead to rights right there. And he almost squeezed out of there for a touchdown. Unreal. Right, let's go power option. As the first quarter is almost over already. Let's get it. Uh-oh. Okay. A couple nifty little moves there from Calvin. Picks up seven yards. I'm hoping to get through the rest of week five here today. Wide open over the middle. Oh my goodness, he never even tried for the catch. Oh man. That was a great throw too, he's wide open. Unbelievable. All right, they're down three. Calvin pitches it out. Token Nana Coke. Does he have enough speed? He does. Touchdown. Buys him. And Brandon Robinson is hurt for the Terriers. Hopefully, we'll be able to see him back in the ball game. So Token Nana Coke has a sack tonight. And yeah, tonight. I'm always I'm used to playing at night now. He has a sack today, as it is 11.22 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And a touchdown run. Eight plays, 78 yards, 152 off the clock. We've had two drives so far, and the first quarter is pretty much over. Let's get him. Seconds left in the first. Robinson will return for the Terriers. Elbow bursitis. Uh oh, nice run for the fullback. He's going to pick up seven or eight yards off that gut. And he's got 39 already in the game. And that is the end of the first quarter already. Bison on top, seven to three over the Watford Terriers here in the Fargo Dome. Oh, I missed. Feels bad. Deal Langston on the stop, though. Sometimes when you click onto a receiver, as the, or not a receiver, but a defender, as you're running towards the ball carrier, they just kind of, you know, their momentum just kind of carries them away. You're going to win 49-10? to 10? Oh, my goodness. Maybe a little too much faith. I don't know if there's going to be that many points on the board as Foster recovers another fumble off a bad pitch. Come on, now. You gotta get those. Quick pass right side. Foster's open, but that is out of bounds, incomplete. And that will bring up third down and five for Wofford. Nobody voted for the Terriers in the Discord pickup. Feels bad. Go option, and this play is blown up. Stewart is dropped, and it's Hoka Nanakoke again. This is his game, folks. Fourth down and four for Wofford. They're going to punt it away. How is this North Dakota State team not won a national championship? Well, they keep getting beat up in the Big 12, just a little bit. Vincent on for the return. I did not mean to spin left. I meant to spin to the right. Awesome. Fantastic. All right. Push down at 10. Let's go. Triple option to the left. Try to get Zuber speed. Look at that. Zero passing yards. 80 rushing for Wofford. 78 for North Dakota State. You'd love to see it. Let's go, Zuber. Let's go, Zuber. Oh. Oh, baby. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> it's out of the 31-yard line. What a run. He is so fast. It's 
not even fair. Look at this juke. Whoop! <laughs> oh my goodness. Couldn't quite get past that last defender. Alright, let's see what we can do here. First and 10 from the 30 yard line of Walker. Who wants it? Throw it up! And it's picked. That's why we don't throw it here at North Dakota State. But there's a flag. Pass interference. Let's go. What? <laughs> what? Oh my goodness. Wow. The man that got hurt earlier comes back in, makes the pick. How's that pass interference on number 84? What do you mean? I'm hurt. I'm hurt, dog. I'm hurt. Try to catch him off guard, and we caught ourselves off guard. It feels bad. Get him! Sit down! Get out my face! Austin Bracey with a big hit. on the ground option breaks the tackle and picks up about six or seven all right let's see third down and five get him no chance he gets this let's go Yo, Langston on the tackle for a loss. And they're going to punt it away again. Fourth down and five. Oliver Vincent back deep to return it. This could be a decent return. And he got lit up at the 43-yard line. Let's try this again uh, without an interception. Sorry, I had to mute my mic. I was sneezing my brains out. It feels bad. All right, that was that was a fantastic play. All right, let's go shotgun. Zuber Speed is in the zone. Just got to try to get the football into his hands. What is that throw, Calvin? My guy. Guy is wide open and you threw it like five feet. What are you doing? That was one of the weakest throws I've ever seen in my life. You get no air on that. Get out of here. We've thrown two passes, or three passes, and two of them have been picked. What in the world? Looked like a Pop Warner quarterback out there. Sneezing and coughing. Oh, we've been quarantining correctly. <laughs> yeah, I don't get out much, man. Just me in this big old house all by myself now. Quarterback is in the zone for the Terriers. That's going to be a decent run for Foster. Nine-yard pickup. Second down and one. I'm not throwing it for the rest of the game because Calvin just cannot throw right now. I don't know what's going on. I mean, he's not the greatest quarterback as far as throwing the football, but still, I, I know he's more capable than what he's doing right now. Zeke Marunde on the tackle. Get 
him. Oh, what a hit by Oliver Vincent. And Travis Stewart has injured his head on the play. Backup quarterback is going to come in for Wofford. Oliver Vincent not really known for being a big hitter at corner. But my goodness, did he lay him out. Nice spin by Foster, but there's just too many Bison right there waiting for him. Morunde on the stop again. Third down and 12 for the Terriers. How many games am I streaming today? Well, I'm hoping to do uh, at least one more after this one, maybe two. And Rusty Lucas is injured on the play now. Terriers just dropping like flies out here. Uh, and then I'll be streaming another one tonight, the final game of the week, hopefully. I'm, I'm trying to get through the rest of week five today. That's the goal. Am I going to actually get to it? I, I don't know. <laughs> Michael Gregory, what's going on, bud? I can't believe they actually punted this from the 34-yard line. I just went for it. Like, just go for it. That was a 14-yard punt for the net average. My goodness. All right. Let's do this. That's a nice little 15-yard run. I'll take it. First and ten. Travis Stewart out for two weeks with a mild concussion for Wofford. I'm caught on my own line. Feels bad. It's a two-yard pickup. Look at the time of possession. Almost eight minutes for Wofford. Let's go, Zoomer, to the outside, and to the house. Touchdown, Bison. Let's go. 62-yard run for Zoomer Speed. He was in the top five for the Heisman voting right now. He's just too fast. Don't currently have the thumbnails for the other games yet. Waiting on Hammer Jammer to wake up. He's a West Coast guy. He's in Cali. Good old San Diego. So it's about 8.30 there. All right, 24 seconds left in the second quarter. Oh, what a hit by Jefferson. Okay. I didn't know he had it in him. Get him. Uh-oh. Nice blocking downfield. And he gets pushed out of bounds finally at the 46-yard line. Bomar with the 30, was it 36-yard run? 39? I didn't see the number. 39 yard. All right. Can we not let some points on the board with, like, no time left on the clock? Rusty Lucas out for the game. Dislocated shoulders. So it's now two Terriers out for this game and one out for more than this game. There's a fumble. Wow. We can't recover fumbles. That's the third one this game. Second and 18. Let's get it. Oh, I don't know how I didn't pick that. Third down and 18, though. They're going to just chuck it up. Nice little Hail Mary. It's 
instead of going prevent, I'm going to go man coverage here. And use Rich Rodriguez on the right side. Pressure, he sacked. Oh my goodness. I don't know why that guy even blitzed because he was supposed to be doing man coverage. But I'll take that sack. Let's go. It's going to be the end of the first half. 14-3. The number 14 ranked Bison on top of the Wofford Terriers here in the Fargo Dome. And we do get the football back to start the third. Oliver Vincent uh, for the return. Oliver Vincent up the left sideline. Look out. And he's going to be gone. Oh, my goodness. What a way to start the third quarter if there's no flags. And there is. Of course there is. Of course. Of course there is. On Jeffrey Clark. Why, why must you do this? Harris Gurley in the chat. What's going on, Harris? Gary May up the middle. Big fullback. Picks up 20 right up the gut. Wofford paid the refs. <laughs> <laughs> Feels bad, man. Okay, Zoomer. Let's go. He's gone. Goodbye. Super speed of the house. Get out of the way. Touchdown, Bison. His second of the game. 70-yard run. My goodness. Once he gets past the first defender or two, you're not getting There's just no way you're going to get him. He's so good. <laughs> it's insane. The real question is, though, is his, you know, straight line speed going to translate well into the EFL? That's the real question. Extra point up and good from Madison. The Bison around top 21 to 3 here in the third. Nice little 28 second drive. You'd love to see it. waiting for this stadium to sell out because once it does man it's going to be loud I just got clipped definitely got oh my goodness I got clipped he got destroyed the Eggonator what's going on man how you doing bud yeah that place is not going to go anywhere get out of here Do it. Which is the best offensive freshman this season? Darren Van Baron, Northern Colorado. Ten catches, five touchdowns. All right, let's get him. Let's get him. Sit down. Do I play 2K5? I do plan on playing 2K5 on the channel. They're down in seven for the Terriers. Oh, he dropped it. Oh my goodness. That was that was poor defense from Oliver Vincent, but it didn't matter. Vincent back to return it from his 30. And he's going to go up the left sideline, get a block. No, he can't. He did get it into Wofford territory, though. Let's get it. Get that block. Get it. Oh, nice pitch out. It's Michael Gregory up to the 32-yard line. Good run for the freshman. And the Bison up over 300 yards rushing for the game already.
who has the number one toughest place to play in this dynasty? Oh, uh, man, I can't remember who has it right now. I know that none of our schools are on the top 25 yet, which is kind of crazy. What was that pitch? Luckily, he recovered it. Oh, my goodness. Jasper, that was one of the worst pitches I've ever seen, and that's, that's saying something because you've had quite a few of those. Feels bad. Southern Utah has the biggest stadium in the dynasty. But they don't have the loudest quite yet. Right, that play went nowhere. Oh my goodness. Third down and 13. Wide open, super speed. First down and more. Oh, inside the 10-yard line. <laughs> Almost squeezed through there for the score. Man, he just made that first guy look so silly. Dove and completely whiffed. Max Hawthorne in the zone at tight end. Not that he's going to be used here at all. Cameron May stuffed at the line of scrimmage. He's still up, though. And down to the one-yard line. Nice, powerful run for Cameron May. And he is exhausted. It's going to become the loudest when you get to start at quarterback. Okay, Alex, okay. That's easy money. Third touchdown of the game for Zoomer Speed on the ground. All he does is score. Extra point is up and good. It's 28 to 3 now here in the third. So the Utah's freshman dynamic duo. Yeah, they do have a couple nice freshmen. Get him. Just 28 yards passing in this game. You'd love to see it. Get him! Let's go! 28 to 3. Shutters. <laughs> it's okay, Marvin. It's okay, buddy. <laughs> this score's giving you PTSD. Oh my goodness. Guys, relax. We're not Falcons here. There's no Kyle Shanahan, my guy. Get him, Dio! Let's go! Nice run, that's a first down and more. Oh, what a hit. Oh no. <laughs> oh my goodness, nice run. Quarterback got absolutely rickrolled, though. Oh, my goodness. No Kyle Shanahan and no Julian Edelman. Yeah, one of the best catches of all time. Yeah, that, that'll do it to you. That'll break you back for sure. Get him. 
the running game is pretty decent. My defense is completely exhausted right now. Get up. Nice hit. Nice hit. Okay, West. That was pretty much the same exact play. Might be the final play of the third quarter. Austin Racy with a tackle for a loss. Let's go. Fifth tackle for him in the ball game. Is Southern Utah actually in the FCS in real life? Yes, sir. All of these schools are real teams. Yeah, that play's going nowhere. Sit down. Final play of the third quarter. Get your fours up in the chat, folks. Bison on top, 28-3. Here in the Fargo Dome over the Wofford Terriers. Jay Washington in the chat. What's going on, buddy? Get him. Oh, he had his man, too. Just missed him. Fourth down and ten for Wofford. And Nanakoke almost got that. Oh, my goodness. Big stop for the Bison. Offense set to take the field again. Uh-oh. Oh my goodness. They sent that safety blitz like they just knew what the play was. This is going to be like one of the shortest streams <laughs> that we've ever had. Alright, I'll take five yards. That's fine. Let's get it. Oh, nice tackle. Okay. I was hoping to get that out to Michael Gregory. Didn't quite work out that well. All right, third down and six for North Dakota State. We are three of three on third downs in this game. Watching North Dakota State reminds you of the FCS tournament. What was your favorite game in the FCS tournament, Jay? And we are now four of four. Oh my goodness gracious. Jasper. Hold on that football, man. Come on now. I even covered the ball up, too. It didn't help. <laughs> it did not help at all. Nice move. That should have been a touchdown. He just couldn't pitch it. Terriers trying to come back. Can they do it? Do they have Tom Brady at quarterback? Get him. Uh oh. They do have some nice running backs here for Wofford. Right. 
Come on, snap the ball. Why are you running the clock out? Makes no sense. Huge hit. And a nice back juke by Foster. Gets about six yards on the carry. Harris, why, why are you so aggressive right now? Are you okay? <laughs> what did Tom Brady ever do to you? Nice tackle. That was Oliver Vincent on the stop. The sixth tackle of the game. And he averages seven a game. That's that's pretty good for a cornerback. He does fly around out there. Terriers two of nine on third downs. And they're going to get this one. Nice fullback dive. The Bryant Butler game. I don't even remember that one. I'm going to have to go back and watch it. Good thing about those games is I didn't stream those, so it's not going to take an hour to watch the full thing. Oh, my goodness. What a hit. Nicholas on the stop. Yes, Harris, I, I know the game you're talking about. play went absolutely nowhere. Dio Langston on the tackle for loss. It's third and 14 now. Super Speed has six carries for 201 yards. Oh my goodness. Those are like, those are reception numbers. That's what that is. And he's going to be sacked. Oh my goodness. Head coach Colin Northrup on the sideline. Fired up. As his team is dominating Buffalo. Stand a chance. All right, fourth and 19. Who won the last two national championships? The Bryant Bulldogs won it in season one against Fresno State, and Savannah State won it last season against the Dayton Flyers. Nice stop for the defense. Yeah, Bryant won like 20 games in a row, I think, to start the series. They finally ended up losing to William and Mary. Oh, nice tackle. Now, I can't remember their exact win streak that they had when they started the series, but it, it was close to 20 at least. Outside linebacker in the zone for Wofford. Make sure we don't run the ball that way. Nice. Oh, my goodness. Somehow got a yard out of that. This game is going to end, and it's going to be like a 40-minute game. <laughs> this is insane. Run it. That was way too easy. Great blocking all the way down the sideline. Has one of our 12 schools played Eastern Washington? Uh, yeah, they're in the Pac-10, and we have five Pac-10 schools, so they all play them. That was Speed's fourth touchdown run of the ballgame. Washington at least five times a season. 
Oh, wow, nice blocking. And he ran out of bounds? <laughs> what? Wow. Unbelievable. Zuma Speed, 8 carries, 281 yards, 4 touchdowns on the game. Over 300 total yards of offense. Insane. And Taylor gets play of the game. He had one of those interceptions earlier. That was a nice cutback by Dunn. Okay. I see you. Yeah, definitely because of the lack of FCS schools out west for sure. Otherwise, I would have had a little bit more uh, more teams like spread out throughout the conferences. I would have liked to have had one team in uh, like each conference. That would have been cool, but or two in each big time conference, maybe a couple independents or something. But it just didn't work out that way because of the lack of West Coast representation in the FCS. Down and six, they give it off to the fullback. He's been their workhorse on third downs. So he does not get this one, though. Can Lawson get a touchdown? No, no, they can't. Can't do it. Bison were, what, 20 point favorites, 22 point favorites in this game? That's my bad. I wasn't looking at the screen. Yeah, 22 point favorites. Sorry, Oliver. I didn't mean to get you leveled like that, but I, I was looking at the Discord. <laughs> they shoot out. Get the block. Oh, poor Michael Gregory. Can't get any blocking. I couldn't fair catch it, Tyler. I wasn't looking at the screen, man. Yeah, we'll run one more play. Why not? Why not? See what happens. Probably something terrible. Look at that. He pitches it out, gets the block, and Zuber Speed's gone again. Get out of here. Oh, my goodness. And that is going to do it as Zuber Speed goes over 350 yards rushing for the game on nine carries. Wow. I love it when you can see the quarterback run out there and, and get a nice block for his running back. 41-3 to is the final here in the Fargo Dome. Bison cruise to the victory over the Wapping Terriers. That was rough. <laughs> Nine carries, 350 yards. Goodness gracious. Let's check out the stats. 500 yards of offense for North Dakota State. 212 for Wofford. Wofford did have more first downs than North Dakota State did. Two completions in the entire game. On 13 attempts. Oh my goodness. Sacked Wofford four times. But we had three turnovers. That was bad. No punts, just two penalties in the game. And Wofford dominated time of possession, but it didn't matter because it was just big play after big play after big play for Zoomer Speed. Five straight rushing touchdowns. Look at the distance for all of them. 60-plus on all four of those ones, and then a one-yarder. Zero quarterback rating. Feels bad. Was he sacked at all? No, he wasn't. 352 yards rushing on nine carries for five touchdowns. Nanakoke, one for 20 and a touchdown as well. Jet Balmer had a four-yard carry. Two fumbles for Calvin Jasper Jr. Super speed with a 28-yard reception as well. So he had 380 yards of offense today. Ten tackles for Dio Langston. Austin Bracey and Zeke Marunde both had seven. Oliver Vincent was six. Nanakoke was four. Rich Rodriguez had two. Ryan Ermandowski had a tackle. Probably on one of those interceptions. Jeffrey Clark, one tackle. Sean Mahan, one tackle. 
Lots of tackles were lost in this game. Four sacks. No picks. A couple pass deflections. One for Sean Mahan in the end zone. And they're, I think they fumbled it three times, and we just could not recover any of them. Vincent, 81 yards on kick returns, along with 63, and a 20-yard punt return as well. That is going to be it for the stream, guys. There's the players of the game. Taylor, Scott, Merrill, Speed, and Nicholas, and Nanticoke for North Dakota State. And I do not have the graphic, or the thumbnail, rather, for this game right here, but we have the Southern Jaguars traveling to Jacksonville, Florida to take on the 2-1 Jacksonville Dolphins. Southern is also 2-1. This is a nationally televised game, and I will leave you guys with the rankings here, and I will see you guys in about 5-10 to 10 minutes with that stream. Until then, uh, you know, slap a like on the video, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the Discord and in the next stream. Take it easy, guys.